Tom Taylor and Andy Kubert reach the penultimate issue of their globetrotting adventure as Batman thwarts more massacres and learns the true identity of Equilibrium and how she is tied into his crusade against crime. Tom Taylor finally reveals the origin of the villain of the story, something I think maybe should have happened about two issues ago. I completely understand why it was done here, which was to build up to the big finale in London in the last issue, but I would have enjoyed the book a little bit more had we gotten the origin out way earlier, since it was just sitting there at the back of my mind that we don't know anything about this villain and why she is exactly doing this, so it makes everything that was happening sort of not make much sense since you don't know those motivations. Taylor, however, does the origin really well, and I like Charlotte is a dark mirror of Batman, which is something we've seen before, but it's really done in a way we don't really get to see all that much, since Batman is almost viewed as the killer in the alleyway in a way. It's an interesting dynamic that hopefully in the final issue gets a little bit more play and we get to explore Batman and her relationship with Batman. Andy Kubert again does some brilliant artwork for the book, using panelling to his advantage when it comes to showcasing a very tense standoff between Batman and Equilibrium and a pretty brutal flashback to the villain's origins, depicting a pretty terrible car crash complete with dead children, all of which was covered in this great ominous shadow. Batman the Detective Issue 5 finally answers some questions regarding the villain and her motivations, and while I think it may have come later than I would have liked, I enjoyed learning those connections to the Dark Knight along with a great build up to the big finale. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Batman the Detective Issue 5 finds Batman's bat truck racing down the A1 in France as he talks with the European Alliance of the Bat, filling them in on equilibrium, wanting them to find out who the woman is thanks to the CCTV footage he has of her at the police station. He tells some of the people that Ducard knows who she is and he'll be targeted because of it, so he needs to be taken into safety, wanting a police captain in France to use only people he trusts. He wants to be told when Ducard is conscious as he sends out lists of people Batman has saved in each of the nations part of his alliance, with thousands on the lists. Batman wants them all protected as best as his people can as he intends to go to the site of Equilibrium's last attack. Batman tells Squire what the alliance is, knowing that he and the officials have an understanding with one another and he and they will do what needs to be done. Arriving in Belgium, the heroes watch as Equilibrium and her men have taken over the Brussels Convention Center, taking everyone there hostage. The cops surround the building as Batman knows that the people inside are people he has saved, learning there is at least 37 people in the building he has saved. Batman knows if the cops go in, they'll be murdered, so he goes in alone, confronting the white suited terrorists. Equilibrium knows that Batman wasn't meant to die yet, yet maybe they should make an exception. Since every day the hero is alive, he does more damage. Batman tells the hostages to move back as Oracle brings the truck crashing through the building, putting itself between Equilibrium and the civilians. Squire ushers everyone aboard the truck as Batman goes to work on the terrorists, hurting as many as he can before the woman gets to him. Equilibrium beats the aged Batman down, trying to gouge out his eyes, but luckily his reinforced lenses prevent that from happening. Bruce tells Squire to seal the people in the truck, since he's not joining them. He activates some CN gas, which is deployed from the truck, covering the terrorists as Batman's mask seals itself, allowing him to lay a beat down on the disorientated equilibrium. Sullivan, the woman's right-hand man, grabs Batman, telling the boss to go as Batman knows this being is enhanced in some way. Luckily, he doesn't have to take him on alone as Squire backs him up, knocking the brute out. The terrorists are rounded up and arrested by the cops as Batman finds equilibrium managed to escape. He knows that she won't show up again thanks to knowing how they tracked her with the Alliance. Batman learns that Ducard is awake but missing, leaving the hero a note on where to meet him. Bruce goes to meet him at the first place they met near the Louvre, asking the man how he is there after being shot three times. Ducard says that it's a fine balance of painkillers and denial. Bruce wants to know who Equilibrium is since he knows Ducard trained her as well. Ducard reveals that her name is Charlotte Le Cerf and she is a lot like Bruce in a lot of ways, with a few key differences like being able to kill people. He tells Bruce that she has killed many, many people and was terrifyingly good at it, but then one day she left it all behind because she found a family. He shows Bruce a photo and Bruce asks why he has photos of her family, but Ducard will only say that she was special to him and didn't deserve what happened to her. 
Ducard asks if he remembers John Gallagher, and Bruce does, remembering how he teamed up with Knight and Squire one time to take down arms dealers who end up blowing up their catches. John, along with one of the smugglers, was caught in the rubble and was saved by Batman. Ducard reveals that had Batman not done that, a year later, John wouldn't have been driving drunk and killed Charlotte's family when he crashed his car into theirs, with Charlotte being the only survivor. Leaving the crashed car, the enraged Charlotte kills John there and then at the scene, disappearing from the crash site and from society, which is when she tracked down Ducard. Ducard says that Bruce's interventions have created ripples and she sees Batman as an agent of chaos. Bruce knows that grief distorts things, asking if Charlotte knows he saved London from that nuke that one time. Ducard knows she knows that, prompting Bruce to tell Squire they need to go, since Equilibrium is going to try and kill an entire city.